All right, guys. So here's going to be a review of my uh, my favorite smaller concrete pumper that I have, and this is the Mercedes Schwing S36 SX pumper. It's a 36 meter pumper. So uh, in American feet, it's around 120 feet. Uh, you can see on uh, right now for the review, I have the outriggers lowered, and that's because it it just takes too long to go to all four outriggers and lower them, and uh, it really wouldn't show any difference if they're raised. So. Uh, before I actually get into the review, uh, this and another pumper were my first ever, um, so I was really excited to get them, and, uh, it, it paid off to get them, uh, this one retails for around 150 bucks, definitely worth it if you have extra money, um, honestly, I'm not the best, uh, not the best, but I don't really, uh, collect truck models, and, uh, I do really enjoy this one, so, it's definitely a, a really, really great model to have. So, anyway, to start off the review, um, you can tell that the front of the cab doesn't have too much detail, although it is uh, very nice. Um, it's got all the necessary uh, logos from what I could see. I, I really don't know uh, far, foreign trucks too much. The mirrors are able to come on and off. I, per I have them off at this time because I don't have glue to put them on because I don't feel like having them fall off every two seconds. But anyway, uh, cab raises. And one bad thing about that is you could tell uh, it'll raise there, but it'll just flap right down. And uh, it, it will lock back in. Uh, I don't really, uh, you know, keep it displayed raised. But for those that do... Uh, there is somewhat engine detail in there. You could see not really much though. The cab won't stay raised. Front of the cab has uh, the Mercedes logo and the Actros uh, decal there. It's got the lights. Um, nothing really crazy. Um, but I'm, I'm glad they, they put more into the back of the truck. Um, the steps, which it's hard to tell. Uh, it's almost impossible to tell, but th they are etched. Um, not etched through, but they have a, a, a deep uh, pattern on them. It's got the windshield wipers. Um, they don't move, unfortunately, but not like they would really have to. Um, inside of the cab, you can see nothing crazy, just two seats and a steering wheel. Um, and the right side of the rig isn't really much difference there you could see I, I guess that would be the exhaust um, not really sure so onto the tires they're really good I mean probably my favorite and my favorite part about them is the amount that they could turn now obviously the, the real truck isn't gonna have that much of a turning radius but it's nice that they gave the model that much of a turning radius because I have some other uh, truck models, uh, mainly Sword models, and they, they don't really have that too, too much of a turning radius. Uh, the truck can't actually move like this because the, the tires hit the fenders. Um, but right around uh, here they could turn, and that's a great radius. Uh, I like that a lot. Um, tires themselves and rims are made really nice. They're etched through, and the rims have a, the tires are a nice soft rubber. Um, they're not that hard Scott rubber. Um, they're perfect, actually. Back tires are pretty much the same. You can see it has plastic fender as long as, uh, along with the front, also has the plastic fender. All these uh, motors and uh, air tanks and compartments you see underneath are metal, and they're painted really nicely. Um, the right side is pretty much the same. You could see another uh, tank there and it's pretty much uh, no different than uh, the, the other side. So, back is one of my favorite parts of it. Um, you see it has the steps to go onto the, the top of the, the pumper and also has the handrail which is metal which is really nice and it's chromed. Over here This flaps open, and this could slide out, and you have the hopper for the concrete truck to come in and uh, pour the concrete into, which will then, by this pipe, 
lead it up top to the arm of the, the pumper. And what I really like is how that's pretty detailed. That's etched through completely. And that is just really nice. I really like how they did that. It just, it, it really adds to the model a lot. Um, and it's just perfect. And I also like how they made the little uh, cap for the hopper. And there you could get an idea of how the piping leads up to the top. Um, now if you could hold on for one second, I have to uh, just move this so I could have more room on my table to show this. So now what I'm going to show you are the outriggers on the model. Uh, naturally, since it has an arm that extends in any direction, it will have outriggers like any other concrete mixer. Alright, so the back outriggers are like any mobile crane that you see. They just slide out like that. And they're not really too wide um, compared to the front ones, which... fold out. And that makes it really cool. I like that a lot, honestly. Um, and you can see it, it adds a nice nice span to the model. And it will keep the model stable at any position you put it at. Which is really nice. Um, perfect in any position, like I said. Um, it, obviously, uh, the model doesn't hold a load. It just holds its own boom. So there's really no worry about uh, the outriggers failing. And what's so nice about them is they're screw down, so you don't have to worry about them sink, sinking either. The only bad thing is about them is, um, which I'm going to show you right now, there's a limit to how low you could put them. Um, because they didn't put it through the whole outrigger, obviously. So, I mean, it gives it a nice height. Uh, I guess if you got to bring it up any higher, you could just put some mats underneath it. Um, but I, I wish that they made it so th th that it, they were a little bit longer. But it really doesn't... If, if someone asks me what's the floor of it, that's not the one thing that would even come to mind. So, now the part that everyone's been waiting for, um, extending out the, the boom, uh, it basically works like this. And I actually broke mine. Um, and I'm going to have to buy a new one. Um, so this, this one, I don't even know what I'm going to use it for. Um, I, I was actually thinking about selling it, but I don't think anyone would buy it because the main cylinder is cracked, as you can see, and it will hold up right here, but when you bring it up higher, it just won't come because it, it's cracked and there's not enough for the cylinder to hold on to. And how it cracked was I brought it up too high, and when I brought it down, the the cylinder rod just slammed right onto the casing, and it ruined it. So it, it cost me the model, which um, which it completely sucks. But what am I gonna do? There's nothing I could do about it. So uh, before I get to the rest of the boom uh, extending it, I'm gonna show you the top of the model, which is really nice. So, here's the top of the model, and uh, in my opinion, where we find the most detail. You can see the pipe that will carry the concrete goes uh, on the deck into the turntable and out. And my favorite thing about the pipe is its color, because it sets it apart from the rest of the model, and on the white boom, it looks perfect. All the silver part over here and right there has the nice texture to it, um, perfect, and the green paint which you see all over here is absolutely perfect it's probably uh... when the models folded out it's the most detailed part of the model like i said the paint finish on top of the model mainly the green is just it's perfect um, it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it's nice and glossy as well these pieces you see right here hold the boom when it's folded in um, not exactly sure what the black pieces are i would assume there's some types of uh tanks and uh, pretty much I'll hold them just like that and this piece right here will hold the end of the boom now uh, I will show 
the arms coming out. And the arms are extremely nice. I like them a lot. Um, so you raise this one. Then you could bring this one out. And you can see it, it falls under the weight because it's broken. And I, I just hate that it broke. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that it does. the model's not too expensive. Um, I probably, it's, it's still within the return date, but I'm not going to return it. Um, and my cylinder's actually bent. It went back so far. Um, anyway, this one will raise. Then this one will lower. And then this one will come out. Pretty complicated for a model. Um, nothing crazy, but it's engineered perfect. Uh, the cylinders hold well, and the movement is more than enough on them. Um, and it's it's hard to see, obviously, because of uh, the camera, but uh, I'll show you fully extended once I uh, show you all the detail on it. So the turntable for it is really nice. Um, it'll spin a 360. Like so. And you can see it has the bolt detail. And uh, you can actually see how my cylinder's bent. Uh, nothing crazy, but a little bit. The pin's painted for it. Um, now we'll move on to the next part of the boom. And I'll, I'm actually laying it down so it's easier to do the review. Um, here's the first joint of the boom. Um, it, it works just like a, an excavator bucket. Um, you can see it has a cylinder here. And... Let me raise it. It has a cylinder there. And, uh... It's hard. And... It'll fold in. And... Fold out. And the cool thing about it is, um... And it, it's too hard. To, well, maybe I can show you like that. Eh, screw it. It's easier like this. Uh, the hose for the, that holds the concrete because all all the white part here is for is just to hold it up, to hold the pipe. So uh, the pipe that carries the, the concrete goes along the entire boom, and uh, I'll actually have to move it. You can see uh, it switches from side to side, and it just has great detail. Uh, here's the next part. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on, on the joints because um, one after the next, they're, they're basically the same. Uh, the dog bones are uh, shaped differently, and that's simply uh, because of the angle that they have to go. Um, leading to the next one. Pretty much just like that. Um, it's, per it's perfect. Um, and my favorite part of the arm which is the hose at the end which is rubber and it's completely flexible like you could see um, so it's it's just perfect uh, I like it a lot um, and it, it adds nice nice feature to the model um, and this pumper right here is perfect size to hook up to my bower uh, to bring a, so to say a concrete down the middle of the auger and uh, it's just really, really perfect for it. Um, so now I'll show you it uh, extended. Um, so here she is. Um, extended. Um, I don't know if it, you know what configuration you would like to see it in, but I think that looks pretty cool like that. And what's really cool about it and naturally people think uh, with a pumper that it would go up high but that's not always the case it could go down low as well and I've seen this done many times um, so it could also bring it down low into a foundation and it, go, it goes around maybe 18 to 20 inches uh, into the ground and it'll go around two feet tall so I'm not actually gonna keep it like that because it looks really cool like that um, so overall great model great details on it one or two flaws on the model as you could tell uh, 
and I, I only, I really think the only flaw is that the outriggers don't come down all the way. Um, it really doesn't bother me because I could just put some wood under it. But it, it, I, I wish that they would come down a little bit lower. Um, and before I end the review and give my final thoughts on it, here it is with the mixer. Um, I figured I'd throw that in there because it, it look, looks really cool like that. Um, so, is is it worth the 150 bucks? You're probably asking. Uh, most people are probably uh, gonna say no because uh, you can put that 150 bucks towards you know a, a nice uh, dirt, or you could even put the money towards a crane model. So, um, I, I would categorize this model under uh, a specialty model. Um, and honestly, I bought it because I had extra money. Um, you would probably never see me buy this. Uh, if I just, you know, like any other model or dirt model that I have. I would only buy this off if I had extra money. After buying one and having it for around a month, uh, I would probably change my thoughts. But if, if you don't really have extra money and you're not really into concrete pumper models or truck models, it, it, this probably is not the model for you. So, it's probably, you know, it's a specialty model that few have. Um, but it's it's great to have in a collection if if you're trying to just strictly build up a, a collection of all the models out there. Um, so there you have it. Hope you liked the review. And uh, these are getting pretty hard to find.